We're supposed to be in our bodies, in our energy centers. And so I find that I get stuck up here, like planning and thinking. And then it's just like, oh, okay, what are the practices? Breath work, a salt bath, all those things that really bring us home to our bodies that we can really be present and in the now. It's just remembering that we need to get there and how we can support ourselves in that. Yeah. And I feel called to say for some reason, like if you're an extra sensitive person or soul, it's okay if you need more time doing those things <laughs> because, you know, for myself and for people I've worked with, they're like, well, if I spend all of my time regulating, then I'm going to be doing this all day almost and every day. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, this world, it's not designed for us to be in the now. So we have to take our power back and shift ourselves out of what the world is trying to keep us trapped in. I found through these interviews, you know, most of these healing practitioners, they have to have that in place. That is how they connect to their intuition. That is how they have a direct connection with source, universe, God, whatever it is. Like they need those practices because if not, you have no anchor point to where you need to be and you have to be within yourself. That was a huge power for myself is that I am extra sensitive and that I need that extra time. It's knowing that, yes, sometimes it's so much fun and beautiful to go on TikTok and scroll and see these readings. But if I'm really wanting to be the best version of myself, I have to say, okay, what can I do first before I do that? And a lot of times once you get into those practices, you're like, oh, I don't need this numbing thing that's not actually having me present in my body. I just needed to come home to myself and process my emotions and journal or whatever that is. I'm so happy you said that because it's changed my life that I've allowed myself. I've given myself permission to say I need this time to be the best version of myself. Absolutely. Yeah. Welcome to Float Activity, the channel that guides you on a transformative journey towards spiritual wisdom, self-development, and healing practices, all aimed at elevating your intuition and aligning you with your soul's purpose. I'm your host, Kara Dempsey, and I'm thrilled to have you joining me today as we learn together.